Good morning everyone, this is Dan with The Bike Nation. Welcome to my channel. We're going to get out and ride today and do a, uh, I don't know, 16, 17 mile ride after I turn my computer on my bike here. Uh, we're going to be riding up to the bridge and today I'm riding my Anioki AQ177 Pro Max. It's my 48 volt, 60 amp hour battery that will do 100 miles on one charge at plus. So, I want to get out and ride today. And then, uh, see how my editing uh, comes out on my ride. I'm actually uh, got two cameras going. I've got the, my chest camera on and I've got my um, camera for the s s selfie up front. Videoing back on myself. Yeah, let me know what you guys think about this uh, angle that we got going on today. Just a little warmer than it was yesterday. It was pretty cold yesterday. So I believe it warmed up about uh, 10 degrees over yesterday. It was pretty chilly yesterday. I was waiting on confirmation uh, for uh, FedEx that's shipping another bike supposedly today. But I do not have any notification that it's arrived in our uh, local warehouse. They still show it being delivered today between 1040 and uh, 220, but I don't think that's going to happen. I normally always see the tracking to the local warehouse the night before when they're going to deliver the next day, but uh, I have not got that. So I'm thinking maybe the bike will not be delivered today. Which it doesn't really matter a whole lot because uh, it's supposed to rain all day here tomorrow. So I will be home for that. Tomorrow was going to be an operation uh, day on my channel. And uh, maybe uh, an assembly, unboxing assembly of that new bike I'm getting in, which is the um, Ingwe, E-N-G-W-E. It's a 20 inch step through bike, but I'm hoping to get uh, that in later today or first thing tomorrow morning so I can get that uh, assembled. So that's kind of what's on my agenda today. As usual, waiting on FedEx and they can be awful slow. So hopefully you guys can hear this pretty clear today with that camera out front. This is the uh, wireless uh, mic that I have. And I'll put a description down in the uh, description box there of uh, the link to the description box where I got the uh, audio device from. It's called DJI is the name of it. Well, see how long it takes this light to change today. Actually, I got it to change right there.
Always got to be careful crossing them intersections. Make sure that guy turning right sees you coming across. It's always kind of iffy. We got the trail right up here of the road a little bit and we'll uh We'll hop on the trail up here. Love them turn signals. You can definitely see them from the rear. That's an aftermarket turn signal. I did not like the ones that were on this bike. You couldn't begin to see that. I know I'm not going to run low on battery today. This has got a massive battery, 48 volt, 60 amp hour. That's a huge battery. Putting 20 miles, 15 to 20 miles on the bike is just getting it warmed up. <clears throat> I'm in pedal assist three here doing uh, about 18 mile an hour. This bike is in rotation today. Tomorrow I'll probably ride the Cy Rusher Komoda or uh, maybe the uh, Cy Rusher Ovia. That's if it's not raining tomorrow. If it's raining, I will not be taping tomorrow. Or I won't be on the trail anyway. I may be unboxing a bike, I'm not sure yet. Yeah, I did uh, some videos the last couple days, but I'm not going to load them to the channel because I uh, was not happy with the uh, results. I must have had a bad uh, wired mic because I didn't get any audio on that video at all. So I decided, you know what, I'm just not going to load either one of them from either camera. Yeah, let me know if you guys are still out riding, depending on, you know, especially the people in the north. I know a lot of people, uh, I know some influencers that are not going to ride at all this winter. Russ is right, come on a video the other day up in Chicago, said he's going to put his bikes up for the year. I don't believe in doing that. I'm going to review these things all winter long. Again, it depends on the person. I don't mind the cold at all. Actually, I kind of enjoy riding in the winter. All you gotta do is dress warm for it and you're gonna be good to go. Yeah, this Antioche's got great hydraulic brakes on him. Again, they're the DY Island. I believe that's what these are. I got a couple bikes that have those on there now. Ingway is sending me the bike and uh, it's also got the battery rack on the back where the battery uh, the second battery will go inside the uh, bike rack. It slides right in there, so it'll take a week or two before I get that. They're not supposed to get it in their warehouse till December the 6th or 7th, but I asked for that additional battery so I could do a really good long range test on that bike and 
they're going to send me an additional battery, so I'm really happy about that. I've also got an opportunity to go out to Las Vegas. Cyrusher that I'm a partner of, they'll pay like $500 on the airfare to send me out to uh, Las Vegas for their trade show. And uh, vendors from all over the world will be there. And I can review their bikes, ride them. And uh, they just asked me if I would be interested. So I haven't responded to them yet, but I'm still thinking about it. I think it's January the uh, 9th through the 12th. So I'm still kind of mauling that over, see if I want to do it or not. Yeah, the bike's supposed to be delivered today between 10:20 and 2:20, uh, but. I haven't got any confirmation it's even in the uh, warehouse yet, so I should be able to get back by 1020. Sometimes um, FedEx don't even let you know they're showing up. And the bike has to be signed for, or I'm gonna have to pick it up at your warehouse, which I can do either one. I prefer them to de deliver it. But I've had to pick other bikes up from the warehouse, and I'm all right with that. I know it's not going to get damaged anymore coming across the local area. I'll tell you, them FedEx drivers are not very careful with them packages. You can talk to any uh, influencer that uh, gets these bikes delivered, and sometimes you got damage to them. And it's primarily due to shipping. As I mentioned, I figured I'd try to get in a 15 to 16 mile ride here today. Just uh, talk about some of the things that I'm doing and uh, um, had a good birthday yesterday. Went to a family member's house and she cooked ribs and all kinds of stuff for my birthday. So my wife and I really enjoyed that little visit. And then my son come over last night and uh, visited for a while on my birthday and his wife had a nice little talk with them for a while. But uh, family is very important. It should be to anybody and it definitely is to me. Anytime you can visit your family or them visit you if you have family, uh, surround yourself with family or friends or people that you like from church or keep yourself involved um, especially when you're riding these e-bikes if you're a senior and you're uh, got you know disabilities or whatever really consider riding one of these e-bikes it changed my life absolutely This is the most fun I've ever had in my life. Just to get out here and ride and enjoy nature and get to ride a different bike every day, I'm blessed is all I can say about that. I give God the glory because without Him, none of this is possible. But with Him, all of it is possible. The motor on this bike is pretty quiet. It's got a uh, 750 watt, 48 volt, 60 amp hour battery. It's got a large controller, so I could upgrade the motor if I wanted to. 
But 750 is the max you're supposed to have on the trail anyway, so I leave it alone. Beautiful ride out here today. Got a couple walkers. I have not seen any bikes yet. I'm thinking I probably will before the ride's over. I'll see somebody on the trail. We've come five miles so far. That poor squirrel almost bit the dust. He seen that tires coming at him. He decided he'd go back where he came from. Yeah, Caleb and I are going to get out and do some uh, wintertime riding. Uh, he's got. He's got like four e-bikes now, and he's got two of them that he's uh, modified. He took old bike frames and put a 1,500-watt motor on one and a 1,000-watt motor on the other one. And he's got two e-bikes that I sold him. So, yeah, he'd probably get out and ride before too long with me. This is a great bike to ride. The balance on the weight on the battery is so well balanced in the down or the frame here, you can't feel it. You'll feel it when you take it off though, it's 30 pounds, that's a big battery. But very comfortable bike to ride. And it's not priced bad at all. This bike, uh, for having a massive battery and getting a lot of range and good quality parts. I think it's only retailing for like $15.99 or something like that. That's a great price on this bike. So if you guys are looking for a bike that's got a lot of range, this is the one you want to look at. Again, the Anioki AQ177 Pro Max is the bike. All righty, we're approaching our halfway point on the ride. You guys see that bridge up there? That's our halfway point. I'll get off and we'll talk about this bike a little bit and I'll show you a few things about it. And Hopefully the camera in the front will still be able to video everything that I'm talking about. So yeah, let me hop off here. Turn my pedal assist off here. I learned to never get off a bike till I do that. Um, it can be kind of dangerous. You hit that throttle as you're hopping off that bike, you'll wish you didn't. But anyway, I'm going to talk about this bike a little bit. Uh, again, I'm going to try to stay on the back part of this so you guys can see everything that I'm looking at. Let me get my coffee off here and get a little drink. <clears throat> Couldn't tell I was a coffee drinker. I drink on every ride. I guess what is it? when I was in the Navy, when I was about 18 years old, I uh, started drinking a lot of coffee, and I haven't stopped since. And I can drink uh, regular coffee up till uh, 9, 10 o'clock at night, and it doesn't bother me at all yet. So um, I'm happy about that since I'm a huge coffee drinker. Okay, let's talk about the um, let's talk about the bike a little bit. Uh, first of all, let's talk about the DJI mic. I'm gonna keep this in the picture so you guys can see this. The, right here is the DJI mic. Can you see the um, the green um, bar going across as I'm talking? That is hooked up to my wireless mic that I have on my um, sweatshirt. So, um, I'll tell you, you can probably, I'm just going to show you something, for instance. I'm going to park the bike on the bike trail so the camera can still see me. I hope you guys can still see me walking away. I'm going to show you 
how far I can be away from this mic and still record at a very good quality. See if I can get this camera for not moving too much. Okay, I'm gonna walk away from the bike. And uh, I know you guys can still hear me okay from that distance. I'm hoping. And uh, this is probably 30 feet where I'm at right now. Let's go to about 50 feet and see what it sounds like. This is probably 50 feet here. Let's go a little farther. This thing is supposed to go like, I don't know, 250 feet, something like that. But I'm not sure that you're not gonna break up a lot on the uh, um, quality of your sound, but <clears throat> we're probably 60, 70 feet away from the bike right now. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about the quality of this audio. I put one out the other day, but I did something a little bit different this time, so I'm hoping that uh, you guys can uh, give me some input in the comment section what you guys think about this DJI, DJI mic. Now, the mic that I'm taping from, I think my camera may have turned around here a little bit. Uh, this mic that I'm taping from right now is... Um, It is on my uh, selfie stick out in front of the bike. I'm supposed to get the parts in for my other one, and that's supposed to be in tomorrow, I think, or Saturday, um, That my cold shoe that I need for my GoPro camera so I can put them on the top of this one as well. So um, that's kind of what we're doing with that as well. How you doing? But uh, I'm very satisfied with this um, DJI mic for sure. I want to thank Gary up in New Hampshire at uh, Gary's DIY and Adventures. He's the one who turned me on to this mic. And uh, I ordered it right away because he was telling me about the quality that it has. But anyway, let's talk about the bike a little bit. That's really what I want to talk about. This is, again, called the Anioki AQ177 Pro Max.